Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. I am out here in front of the Bar Pasticceria Daniela because we're looking at an apartment that is right across the street. Just think, your own personal private cappuccino every morning just steps from your door. I'm, just, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, your apartment is right up there and from there you probably have a kind of a nice view. And you're right here downtown. As I said, Pasticceria Daniela is right across the street. Oh, hi Pete. And then just down the way down here is the Conad and the Scalea Shopping Village and the train station. It is right about four o'clock in the afternoon. Of course, we're still in the pausa. Normally these shops are open. That is a machelaria over there, a meat market, butcher shop. And then they have a biancaria with all the kinds of beddings and stuff you want. Then you've got this uh, electric shop and place my lamps. It's really quite a bustling place when it's not in the middle of the afternoon. We're coming in through the gates here. There is a parking area that is designated for the complex. It's not a designated space, but there's tons of parking you can see. Let's go in. Oh, it's cool in here. It feels good. Everybody air conditioning, I think. The interior's in really nice shape. Is this an elevator? There's an elevator. Oh. We're going into this apartment. Okay, we just came in the front door. This place is huge. And I have to say that the tile is in really nice shape. Now here we come right into the kitchen and it is a big, big kitchen. Now, of course, you could swap out that kitchen for not very much money. Um, the tile's in beautiful shape. If you wanted to keep it, you could. It's probably not that much to retile the place in here if you want to do that. Now, it's very funny because you got this funky, weird kitchen on this side. Like, uh, oh, I don't like it. But look, a brand new modern kitchen on this side, which is really all you need. So what I would do, let me tell you what I would do here. You got your fridge here and that's all well and good. However, I would put the fridge here behind a door, rip out all of that stuff. Behind it, you probably have nice tiles. You could leave them there if you want to and put a little table in here because it's huge. You actually already have a little table in here. So you have to just move that to the center, move that fridge over there, get rid of all of this, and you would have a massive kitchen and dining area and a brand new kitchen as well. I don't know why they kept this other piece here, but it's, this is pretty cool. Okay, now there's a ton of terrace in this place. This terrace looks out on the street. We are again, right downtown, right downtown. Over there is the train station, far enough away where you don't get a bunch of noise, but close enough to walk easily. And honestly, if you lived here, you basically just take a little rolly bag and arrive. And you do have a pretty, you do have a pretty nice little view of the mountains and the sky out here. It's a lot of space, very nice. You know, you could just rip out this ugly kitchen and just keep the nice kitchen. Okay, we're coming out into the hall from the kitchen and here is the bathroom. And it's a good sized bathroom. You have a little shower pan here. You can put up a shower curtain. You could put in a glass box if you want. Perfectly serviceable, a beautiful window out there. And out the window you have somebody's really nice balcony. Now, I wouldn't suggest showering with the window opening. I wouldn't suggest showering with the window open because everybody could see you. However, this is a nice bathroom. Oh, wow. They have a table in the bedroom. Okay. Okay. Now, this is technically a bedroom, right? Yeah. Okay. This is technically a bedroom. Uh, they have a table in here. You know what I would do? This table goes in the kitchen. Rip out all these cabinets, get rid of all that stuff, get rid of that fridge, put it over there, put the big table in the middle, have a really nice eating area or put it outside. And then you have a giant master bedroom. Or you could put a couple bunk beds in here and put all a bunch of kids in here. It'd be very nice, it's huge actually. Pete is out here on the terrace. There's another terrace out here. Look, 
There's the macelleria. There's pasticceria Daniela. Down that street is the supermarket. Everything you need at your fingertips. And this is a nice area. I have to say, these apartments here are very well maintained. Almost all of them, very well maintained. Now you can see there's quite a lot of furniture in here. You can take it out or leave it in. However, it looks a little smaller because of the furniture. It's actually quite a huge space. Now I'm not seeing any sign of moisture damage or humidity here at all. The place is really, really well maintained. Here's another bathroom. It's got actually a bathtub, so it's quite big. A giant caldaya. <laughs> That's a lot of hot water. Here you have another bedroom. And again, this is huge, really good sized. I mean, this place could be comfortable right away. could move right in. Oh, and look. There's your pasticceria right down there. Wow. If you wanted to rent this out, I think it would be super easy because of its location. Got a giant armadio here. And another bedroom. And this one is actually quite large too. I have to say it's a, a little funny shape, but look at, I mean, all this furniture, do you really need that for a vacation home or even a home home? I don't know if you do. And you've got another terrace out this side here. You could fit a table out here. You could do all kinds of stuff. And again, there's your pasticceria Daniela down there. Your macelleria that looks like it just opened up. Your biancaria, clothing shops, place where you buy everything. Things are starting to wake up a little bit. For the price, this is a lot of house. And I think it's a great deal because it's in such beautiful shape. There's no sign that I can see of moisture damage anywhere. There's a few things you could do which would be very, very easy to do. The first being rip out these cabinets in the kitchen and put your fridge on the other side. Put the big table in here, clear everything out, and you've got a beautiful space. 